Hi everyone, Vaughn Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today is the first of the month. It's actually my birthday, so <laughs> yay. Um, and today I am going to show you how to make these simple Christmas tree cards, glittery tree cards using the Marvelous Mask Christmas tree stencils from A Colorful Life Designs. Um, you get them in this plastic. You get quite a few. I, I think there's like four and then you get all the negative pieces. You have negative and positive there. Um, I did make some other cards that I'll show you later on, um, on another day of how I use the mask for these. So fun and so easy. So I used number two with this emerald glitter paste. So I have my media mat again and I'm going to use craft cardstock, just like I did the other cards, and modern embossed rectangle. I use the second to the last rectangle die that I will run through my die cutting machine. And this emerald paste comes out a little thin, and so I kind of layer it on um, after I spread it around a little bit. It kind of looks thick, but then when it dries, it um, goes flat so it's not like bulky it's not like a bulky paste like it looks so it's really pretty um, I might want the red um, for Valentine's Day just because it's so pretty and I love glittered cards it's so pretty right who doesn't love glitter <laughs> So really easy. So it looks bulky right there, but it's it doesn't end up being bulky. So I'm going to use um, Hydra Color from Etsy. It's a gold metallic paint nugget is what I'm using. Um, I really love these paints and I'm going to have to get some more. Um, so and they last a long time. They're a little some of them are a little pricey. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to flick some metallic paint over my panel and um, so pretty. Um, that's why I go ahead and run my rectangle die first before putting the paste because I don't want to stick it through my die cutting machine and mess up my tree. So, so very subtle gold on there. Just enough. And then I am going to stamp the sentiment from this Stamp Timber stamp set, Heart of Christmas from Simon Says Stamp. So um, I just used the Merry Christmas. I'm actually, I actually lost one of those sentiments, a great one actually, the Sending Holiday Hugs. So it might be on the back of one of these stencils. <laughs> I'll have to look for it. I, I mean, I bet I'll find it, like, after the holidays. So, I'm just using Cranberry Fizz from Catherine Puller. And I will go ahead and... There's so many great sentiments for Christmas. I went overboard just buying sentiments. And I still have to stamp a bunch and die cut them out. Then I'll probably end up saving them for next year. Because I went overboard this year with Christmas cuteness. Hope I'm not alone. And uh, okay, just stamping Christmas. And basically this card is finished. See how easy it is? I, I now have four of these cards. But um, I did use this stencil set a bunch of times. So you will see that during the month of December. So I have a A2 white card base, Nina Solar White, 110 pound. And um, I'm just going to glue this on. I am doing flat cards for mailing this Christmas. It's just easier for me to put them in the mailbox and not have to go to the post office. Because the lines are crazy for the post office. I already, I do have to go one time, but anyway, that will be quick. And use my code. I have it up top there. 
for 10% off. So there we go. I have four cards. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, all the stencils. Um, thanks for stopping by. Bye.